Food waste. What's the situation? Most people think that food is only wasted at home. When you don't finish your meal. Or when you throw out old food. But no. Food waste happens at all stages of the food chain. Take this carrot. During production, crop insects can compromise its development and lead to its loss. Then, at the calibration stage, a carrot can be rejected if it's too small or has an unusual shape compared to the required standards. If the carrot is cut or canned, machines can also damage it or lead to a loss of material. If it sits too long on the supermarket shelf, the vegetable will lose its freshness and won't find a buyer. Finally, even if the carrot makes it into our shopping basket, it may end up in the trash anyway because of a lack of appetite. There are many ways for loss during production and processing and waste during distribution and consumption to occur. In developed countries, food waste usually occurs due to a lack of coordination between the different parts of the food supply chain and consumer behaviour. For example, in restaurants with buffets, it's difficult to predict in advance the exact number, appetite and preference of the customers. Not to mention that they might be tempted to take portions that are too big to finish. In low-income countries, technical limitations and the lack of storage and transport infrastructure are often to blame. For example, sun-dried rice in Asia is particularly vulnerable to rodents and parasites and if the rice becomes contaminated, it must be thrown away. When you put it all together, all of this uneaten food represents a colossal loss for human nutrition. Imagine, one third of the world's production, about 1.3 billion tonnes of food, is lost or wasted every year. All this loss and waste is problematic on three levels. Firstly, economic. Since purchasing and preparing food that will not be consumed has a cost, both for professionals and consumers. Environmental too, because producing uneaten food wastes resources such as water and emits greenhouse gases. Finally, ethical, because even though reducing food loss and waste will not directly reduce world hunger, decreasing food waste is a moral obligation that we owe to those who lack food. <sighs> To benefit our planet and optimise natural resources, the challenge is to reduce this loss and waste. And the good news is that initiatives are blossoming. Some companies use rejected fruit and vegetables to make soup or jam. Others redistribute unsold food to individuals or charities. Awareness campaigns encourage consumers to adopt simple measures at home, such as cooking with leftovers, or using a shopping list to better plan what quantities to buy. However, there is still a long way to go. The whole system must be redesigned, for example by optimising poor infrastructure, bringing the supply closer to the demand, or even restoring value and meaning to our food. <laughs> we often feel more heartbroken throwing away leftovers from a chicken cooked by our grandmother and throwing away an impersonal store-bought chicken that came wrapped in plastic. In fact, we often waste what is of little value to us. The fight against waste, then, requires a technological response, but also a cultural one. And we all have a role to play.